Hi, this time I wanted to recommend a video. It's a video by Rob Necronomicon. I'm going to put the link to that video in the description. This video is going to be somewhat of a video response, but also kind of like a follow up to that video because he ends that video in a hopeful note, I would say. His video is about his honest take on how tabletop RPGs were in the past because there are many liars and posers that want to distort the past of the tabletop RPG hobby. They want to present their own uh, politically driven agenda they, as if it were the objective past. But a lot of those people have only just started to play tabletop RPGs for perhaps five years ago and they act as if they have been playing for decades. So yes, please check it out. But like I said, his video, uh, uh, Rob's video ends with a very hopeful tone or note, in my opinion. He's basically talking about if there is some sort of, if there will be some sort of unity, some sort of unification between people that play tabletop role-playing games. Let me know in the comments, Rob, if I got it right. But I thought that was an interesting topic. For there to be some sort of unity with people that play tabletop role-playing games, you need to use role-playing as the glue, as the focus, the thing in, in common. If you take a look at me and my um, subsection, the Knights, the role-playing Knights of the Round Table recommended channel list. Well, there were a couple of misses. But I think for the most part, when it comes to the core of those recommended channels, there are people there that are all in about the role-playing aspect of tabletop role-playing games. They like to play the games, but they also like to role-play within those games, those systems. I would say in most cases. So it is my intention with that uh, role-playing Knights of the Round table recommended list that you can find some channels with actual plays, some channels with videos that address different aspects of role-playing. Some of those channels do not have actual plays and some of them don't even have videos. But maybe you can be certain that you will exchange comments with people that are all about the role-playing aspect, not only the game. And I think that is missing in many groups. You can see different groups throughout the years that were supposedly tabletop role-playing groups and almost none of them had role-players. And that's everything that you need, the, an understanding of role-playing. If you understand how to role-play, that's the only point in common that you need for such a, a unity. A lot of my, how would you call them, internet bodies of the role-playing knights we differ so much in many things, but we have that role-playing aspect in common. We get along because we all love to role-play in tabletop role-playing games. And that's pretty absurd, right? Why would you remove the role-play of a tabletop role-playing game? That's the difference. Otherwise, it's going to turn into a board game group or a Mother May I conversation group. It should be about the role-playing because that's what makes tabletop role-playing games start up, stand apart from other games. They, they stand apart because of the immersion created through role-playing. So if we are to look for some sort of unity, I think that's the reason why so many groups have failed. They are usually politically driven. Sometimes their members, they do not even know how to play tabletop role-playing games. That's why I think it's important for those of us that have experienced the pleasure of immersion through roleplay, if possible, upload your actual plays and keep on producing content, of course, talking about roleplaying. There are so many aspects to explore. Roleplaying sheds these lights over things and I think that's why a lot of people that do not that are posters that say that they are 
playing a tabletop role-playing game, but they are playing something else. They are playing a board game. They are having a mother may I conversation. You can enjoy those activities if you like, but why the necessity, the obsession to be recognized as a role player, right? That reminds me in Rob's video, he also made some analogies comparing the situations that he has seen throughout the years with martial arts clubs. I think it's much easier to have a martial arts club than a role-playing club because in a martial arts club, the only thing that you need to do to verify the other person's capacity in combat is to spar with that person. Let's have a go. Be it rough and, and tumble, uh, the first guy to give up or to the first knockout, if you want to handle it like that. It depends on how rough you're going to get. But that's how you can easily identify someone that doesn't know how to fight. But when it comes to tabletop role-playing games, it's about the role-playing. It's not about the martial arts. It's about role-playing. So you need to witness each other's ability to role-play. Something that I found interesting, perhaps logical, is that when I started to produce these videos giving you like tips and advice on role-playing because mostly I was focusing on reviews and every now and then I produce this video giving you like topics and uh, tips, pointers, etc. But like people, I think that a lot of people thought that I didn't know that I couldn't walk the walk, that I could only talk the talk. So when I uploaded the actual play, suddenly like I got this burst of subscribers and thumbs up and now I'm getting so many thumbs up and comments and I really appreciate all of those but it's obvious that perhaps there were people that were thinking is this guy for real well now you can see that I am for real and I will keep on proving that until the end of my days hopefully for a long 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 time so I think it is beneficial perhaps crucial for those that want to show others the beauty of role-playing to upload your actual plays and if not well at least keep on producing videos about role-playing maybe people will think that you won't be um that you do not have what it takes to be a role player or role player or whatever but it still helps the cause of informing people about role-playing in a tabletop role-playing game so for those of you that are thinking of starting like groups or whatever, the glue that will hold the group together is roleplay. Because that's what separates us from other hobbies. The roleplaying aspect of a tabletop roleplaying game. Well, I hope you found this video perhaps entertaining. In some cases, maybe it's informative. I highly recommend that you check out Rob's video. The link to his video will be in the description. Mm. So thank you, as always, for watching my videos. If you have any other comments or questions, please let me know. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. And remember, it is better to roleplay and fail in character than not to roleplay and fail as a player. Once again, thank you and see you later.